<laughs> what is up, everybody? Hello. Um, to the new game. Our new playthrough. Because these last time, all we hear, <laughs> we didn't get the best ending. So I feel like we need a little redemption on that front. We're gonna tr go for that. How's everybody doing today? Hey, Mercedes. Up. <laughs> Good. Ready to, uh. Chat. Ready to see good choices. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, what's up, Share is, uh, Jemima? So we're jumping in chat. I know, uh. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to. Trying to not suck this time around. I'm gonna do my best. Okay, here goes. Connor, what's up? Okay. Negotiator on site. Remember this. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're still an android. An android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Don't Calm down, lady. Here. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Yeah, you are, Connor. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Test, test. Are you just making my sure my my levels are good? Second, back. Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. We should pause or something. I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to check level four. Do that. Cool, cool, cool. And this. And we're ready. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. All right, language.
Deviant took the father's gun. What else we got? Nothing there. Okay. Let's take a look around everybody else. Everywhere else. Hostages room. It's so purple. Room. <clears throat> Dwarf Karami. stuff all this fun stuff yeet <laughs> I like that uh, that emote for the Garami. Father was holding something. Damn, what it looks like. Oh, dang. I know I've played this already, but like, it's still shocking. <laughs> what else? Oh, there he goes. Hmm. Let's go, Connor. Your order for an AP700 android has been registered. TV Sacrifice was going to be replaced. Hold the fuck. First responder.
care. <laughs> and then we'll go the outside. Shit. This is so always so gross when he does this. <laughs> Fresh blue blood. PL600. Traces. Also, it could be wounded on oh, the blue blood. Blue blood. All right, let's do this. I think we got it. If I remember, mm, I don't remember the, the trees. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Uh, I think I might have to go to. All right, let's do it. Alright, bro. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! can save a cop here. Oh, that's right. Go, go, go! Man, he's right on the edge. Hi, Daniel! Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? Come on, I'm Daniel. I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Ooh. Place you and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. So All right, then, calm away. down. You're done with I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> all right, all right. Just a slave to be ordered <laughs> Hey, words from Ruben. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. The situation is under control. Not too bad. Excited about this uh, there, second playthrough. I did what you wanted. You 
have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. You know we can't do that. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. You know what happens here? It's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. That still doesn't feel good. <laughs> to me, Connor. You lied to me. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Still well done. Thank you. Yeah, Mercedes. Wow. This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Next scenario, Sniper Shot Deviant. I wonder, you know, I think I just, I'm, for this one, I'm just gonna go, I really want like the good ending and then I, I can do another playthrough where we can explore the alternatives. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Cyber life. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow. That's amazing. This is exactly. Packing peanuts on the ground. I can have $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it's kind of funny. Android selling androids. Contacts emergency services if there's a break. I guess it makes sense, but still. The MPA permits. Thank you, and we're good. Can I go pick it up? Uh, yeah, right back here. Uh oh. It's you. There it is. A bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe it Android down. selling androids. Oh Hope my god, I've never That'd noticed be that before. <laughs> okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. This guy's not an android, but. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Quantic Dream. Yeah, it's kind of a trip, right? <laughs> Android selling androids. Intro time. Brian! I don't know. Sorry, uh, Opera. Uh, did I did I not put it in the? Ah, uh, oh, see, I forgot to put it in the the um, Discord. Things I forget. Let me do that right now. While this is running. 
I know Twitch. Twitch. Trying to make it all hard on all of us. really bad I take it <laughs> yeah it was all so, that's so sad oh this setup is fire you like this the like the, the new camera angle who are you gonna get that good ending <laughs> The Connor Army. Oh, nice. Thanks. The music is really good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Very bad ending. Uh, not, not, not too long. I let's see. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for half an hour. Yeah, not too bad. Help you. Oh. oh, thank you. Uh, I guess hey. I'm just gonna stand there. Water. What's up, taxi? Am oh, I missing that? <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, I can't go back. Cars are like stupid android. Sing your song, man. You're not really playing. Next time. I'm sure I can find a video of that somewhere and like actually like sit down and learn it at some point. Back in this again. Detroit. Wow. That didn't happen last time. The machines are observing us. They're waiting in the I know, totally rude. Just point people out and say what I think about them. 
totally unbased. <laughs> Baseless. <laughs> Bellini paints. <laughs> He's doing it, yeah, right? How'd you know? Hello, fellow android. <laughs> well, sir, that depend depends on- it does depend on the playthrough. That's very true. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Can you imagine how much, like, um, these companies that hire androids in the future, like, how much they make? Because, like, they have very little overhead. They can make these, uh, their androids work, like, sh long shifts. buy an android for like a one time upfront cost of like you don't even have to be like a top model there was one like at the store that was going for two grand and then that's like all assume there's like no maintenance oh shit where the fuck you going tin can hmm no kidding hey guys check it out we got one of those tin cans here This little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. It's because I got pushed. What the fuck? <laughs> you stupid? <laughs> oh. That's right. I totally avoided this group last time. When I was busy talking, and I totally didn't notice. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. If you damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. This guy, I know. Let's go. Run along. Jeebus. Jeebus. That was a tense. This inanimate object is totally going to learn something from this. Oh no. I just set my. I set um, Marcus on careening toward a. <laughs> Like a drastically different timeline. Or did I tell you I started my deadly? Oh, wow. Yipes. Good, uh, good luck with that, Opera. <laughs> I'm still having flashbacks to that one time. <laughs> oh, when I started and I reset the checkpoint and it was like way back. sucks. Preacher yells at Marcus. Oh wow, so that was a point. Of course that's a point. Hmm. Interesting. Got it. Uh oh. I hope you don't have too much trouble with that playthrough. I, I remember it being, you know, <laughs> pretty tough for that little that little part of it that I played. He 
lives there, yet he can afford an Android, right? I was just think I was thinking that on my first playthrough. I'm, I'm assuming it was like some kind of like you coming? social program that it allowed him to afford an Android for two weeks, and Androids, for all we know. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath. Mine's a new crap. game plus, so I'm not sure it'll be too Got bad. It? Some yes. mistakes have been bad jumps, right? Get started down here, then oh, you that's right. You get, so you get to keep all the progression on the skill tree, so that's good. He paid for her to be fixed, so that's very true. TV on. And you have all the arrow upgrades from the start. Ooh. Hallucination arrows. This not washer not working. Let's get this trash bin. Car's memories are wiped, yet she's still got his credit card details and order ports, I guess. How does that... Do they, like... Yeah, I guess it depends on how they, they do that. Assuming... Um, it's a government program. Maybe it's linked to a government account, and that's that just comes out of the box. I don't know. Who knows? Like, how much is the memory wiped? It's kind of maybe it's like resetting Windows. Like it knows how to do certain things. Hey, what's wrong? Alice. Yeah, it's absolutely possible. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, you know, I'm just trying to come up with ideas. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, he was having a headache. Uh. <laughs> it sounded like he was doing something else. Why is she scrubbing with the oh, <laughs> yellow part of the sponge? Just kidding. Oh. Supposed to use the other side. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Eggs. 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 Yo, Jamar, what's up, brother? I know. Trying to get that good ending. Because that last one was... I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. All right, ass. <laughs> I said in your first playthrough, but I love the androids' outfits with how they have lights on them. I know, right? 
it's totally um the future <laughs> I hope that the future that we have like EL wire in all our lights <laughs> you need to see your bot on the ending you should watch it <laughs> I think, just not my absolute shock, but like everybody else's shock in chat where I was like, that was it? That's what you got? Vicky Win, hey, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, Vicky, this is my second playthrough. So I finished the first playthrough, um, I want to say on Tuesday. And, um,. Jeez, I did not get a good ending <laughs> with the Connor Army. Yeah, the Connor Army there. Connor Army. I don't want to switch that on. <laughs> did everybody die the first time? A good amount of people died. Let's just say that everybody died. <laughs> I drank after that. <laughs> uh, well, not everybody died, but a good amount of people died. <laughs> yeah, everybody except Alice. See, yeah, Catnap remembers. <laughs> you got a better camera and lights uh, too, I think. Oh, Vicky, you haven't been. Um, you haven't been. A r I think uh, I got these lights maybe. Uh, um few weeks no maybe a month ago but yeah I, I added lights and then this is the computer and um ring light i'm actually not at home right now i um i'm uh i'm um house sitting for a friend but yeah <laughs> i know someone who managed to kill everyone in their first playthrough yeah and i had machine connor instead of deviant I, I did not do anything right the first playthrough, apparently. <laughs> Everyone didn't die, but I may <laughs> have saved us. Right. It was just once, though, okay. <laughs> right. You actually replayed the chapter on my first playthrough because something happened and I was like, no, I'm not going with this. I should have done that. I think... I don't know. Well, I guess... I think um, I was in too deep, but... That would have been nice to, like, fix something. And it was a Connor death, so it was questionable whether it even mattered right. I had a Connor death as well. I, and everybody in chat was saying it was because I did... I killed Connor too much during my playthrough. Uh, which makes sense. I mean, jeez. I think I killed him three or four times. I can't leave a guitar here. It's weird. Who leaves a guitar on the floor like that? I don't know. I think for the first playthrough, it's nice not to go back to see all the consequences of your choices. That's, that makes sense, too. If he dies too many times, I think the ending with Hank and uh, Fake Hunter is harder. Yeah. That was like... Yeah, that was weird. I almost didn't... Um, I was. That was one thing I was thinking about going back and changing. Is like, I, uh, <clears throat> I was pl doing my playthrough and I got Marcus killed. Because like... Alright, ass. Uh, I got Marcus killed because I... Ooh, do I want to check the bathroom um because i had switched my keyboard to like tab out for something and um when i came back to uh the the qte um it was uh, it had switched to the keyboard like one two three four and i was like i don't know which one it is so i panicked and i, I hit the wrong button or I, I took too long and went with the default and marcus got killed and i was like i just want to type <sighs> i only need two minutes is that okay alice the most interesting chapter, interesting character for one chapter. <laughs> I, I know. I was really hoping we'd see more hi, more of him in uh, Lance Henriksen's character. Alice in Wonderland. That was super interesting. And then he became the most boring. <laughs> I know. 
I think they tried to change it up with, uh, you know, introducing North. And uh, she made it in interesting at some points, but it, I don't know. He only remembers a mission, not anything that makes him defiant. Right. I'm ventilating all the windows. Yeah, North is interesting, but Marcus isn't. <laughs> Locked. Let's talk to Alice. I'm sure we used to be friends. Robo Jesus. Maybe we can be friends <clears throat> again. Your father said you chose my name. Your favorite is Marcus, Carl? but he's my favorite, it's but nice. that's just you. How did you choose I do him? like Marcus. Um. You should tell me about yourself. <clears throat> what you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. I do get that he's he gets a little one-dimensional once he um, starts the cru his crusade. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Oh no. I like that, um, they all have like these superhuman like calculation powers in terms of like um, what well Connor can like reconstruct a scene and then um, Kara doesn't have that kind of deal though and then um, Marcus can uh, kind of foretell outcomes or calculate outcomes Oh, but Vicky, to uh, go back to the uh, the new setup, I actually, yeah, I I started using my DSLR for um, uh, to stream because my uh, webcam, the webcam I was using, crapped out, and it's, it was hard to find a new one because they were sold out everybody everywhere. But I figured out this DSLR thing, and now everything looks a little better. I wanted to like Marcus, but I was just disappointed once he goes to Jericho, kind of devoid of personality, right? I get that. He totally becomes a, um, kind of... He becomes his cause and not Jericho. I mean, and not, um, Marcus. The beating you over the head about the civil rights stuff overshadows him as a character. Yeah, it was... It was I agree with that, that he was, he was a little more interesting when, um, he was just Marcus. That, that happens a lot when you watch, uh, I think, I feel like when you watch, uh, some TV stories, I mean, movies, TV, when they become like a symbol for something as opposed to the character, it, it always, it gets hot, hard to, um, relate with them sometimes. Like I always talk about season seven of Doctor Who, where I really liked Clara, the character, but like once she became, um, just a giant mystery box, it was like, made her less interesting. That doesn't mean I don't like the character. I still really like Marcus. But, um... Plus, he's hot. <laughs> also, Jesse Williams is a good-looking man. What am I supposed to do? Clean bathroom. Clean restroom. Wait, what? Um, 
I mean, that could have been part of his story. Like, he's struggling with the fact that he's becoming... Yeah, that's a thing IRL too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that would have been interesting if they had done that. In fact, like, um, if he, you know... Yeah, yeah, I think what it is is he becomes, like, one track in his, um, his thought process and, like, what he's after. Um, you like Doctor Who? Yes, I am a Whovian. I do... Um, Attend. There's a local Doctor Who convention here in Los Angeles called Gallifrey One, and I attend every year. So, <laughs> definitely. What are you doing? Oh, come on, weirdo. <laughs> I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a low life. Jesus. Huh? Fucking loser. Yeah, fellow Whovian. Get a job, take care of his family. You went Don't to Gallifrey one one year? to make things work. Did what Tom die, dude? Someone comes along, they just uh, fuck it all up. Oh, this dude Todd? Or... No, I let this guy live. Oh, cool, Catnap. Are you, uh... Are you on the West Coast, or did you fly in? Say it! You hate me! Oh, yeah, yeah, Todd. It, you don't have to remember his name. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I, I let him I let him live. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? Oh, you're you in Northern Cali. Cool, 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 cool. Todd can't die now. Yeah. Poor Alice, I know. Yeah, Gallifrey, uh Gallifrey's a lot of fun. It was uh, it still is. It's still my um, my favorite con to attend. And but yeah, there was there was a time when it was really really hard to get tickets, and that was right when like the big boom happened, um, and the big Doctor Who like popularity boom. It was basically Matt Tennant. I mean Matt Matt Tennant. Matt <laughs> Matt Smith's uh, run, like season five, six, seven. But, you know, this this past year for Galley, it was actually, you know, not not too bad to get tickets. I think um, a couple of my friends waited maybe even a week, a couple weeks, and uh, maybe a week, and uh, they were still able to get tickets. I think that is around, yeah, it was really hard. I remember um, a couple of years trying to get into Galley for everyone, like, uh, phew, me and friends, we had set up the whole, like, kind of Comic-Con, um, we would all try to get in at one time, and whoever got in first, uh, would buy everybody's tickets, because it, it got really, got really tough getting tickets, so we had to, yeah, I would log on, like, right when tickets opened, and buy everybody's tickets. Wizard! That's cool. <laughs> Get a little Jake Lloyd in here, a little Anakin. I do miss cons. I was literally, I was on a phone call just now talking with a friend, and they were saying how um, we were talking about Gallifrey again, and uh, but also, what am I supposed to be doing? I can crawl. But also, um, how we miss Comic Con, and it usually, and Star Wars Celebration was supposed to be right around now. So, a lot of stuff. Adamantium NYC, what's up? How you doing, man? Yeah. But yeah. Cons are definitely one of those things that have been um, Good morning, taken away by the pandemic that I, I miss right now. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80 percent Chilling, my guy. Just processing some things. Got it. Showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Good to see you, man. Thanks for uh, jumping in. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? I used to go to Wizard World in Sacramento every year. It was there. I decided it isn't there this year. Yeah. I'm, I'm also... I, I feel a little guilty that <laughs> we took WonderCon away from uh, y'all as well. Hey, Adamantium, thank you for the follow. 
but yeah, we took away um, WonderCon from uh, up north. Y'all had that for the longest time, and now it's down here in Anaheim. We actually got a con coming yeah, up next I'm month. Oh, you're in Europe. No. We're not going. I didn't Carl. think it was a good idea. Which con is it? Um, Thank you. In Europe. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritty. Yeah, I think, you know, it's been a while. I feel like WonderCon has been um, down here for almost a decade now. I know there are still cons. But uh, Cyrus uh, is saying that they are in Europe, so I, I mean, that's pretty cool. I know. I miss what it. happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the streetcar. Oh, yeah. That's a new bunch one. of idiots. They think they can Carl stop my spirit animal. by roughing <laughs> up a few androids. It's a cool I hope guy. they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Gosh. I, th I feel like when is probably going to be the next con? Even if there was a con within like the next year, I'm not sure. I, uh, <laughs> I would go. I don't know. Adamantium. Um, I'm located in, uh, in California, LA. NYC Comic Con was meh when I went there. Best thing... I did was uh, compete in an uh, SF5 tournament when it first dropped. Nice. That's cool that they had those. You gotta get Sarah to get to that level, man. It's called Dokomi. Main focus is anime, man. Manga. It's Comic Con scheduled for December, but seriously, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I wonder, like, even if they have cons, Anything are people going to, like, on the agenda today? are people going yes, to um, buy tickets, you know? Of Art. Who's going to feel um, secure to go, enough to go to those? Messages asking to confirm your attendance. I don't know. Hmm. I I'm just saying, like, yet. I'm not sure I would feel um, we'll see about that secure any time in the next year. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered it. Hmm. Any news from Leo? He's still no, asking about his son. I can call him if you like. No. Apparently, 2021, no, the Galfrey One Con is gonna it's gonna happen. Really? You play Magic or is that 20 sides for D and D? Um, I used to play Magic a long time ago in high school, so I did play Magic, but also it's a D20 for D and D. So both. I know as um. For magic, we usually use those as uh, dice counter or hit point counters, right? I, I really get too many people too close, yeah. Well, if they do a con in Hun Huntington Beach, I'm sure a lot of people will go. I'm sure of it. In Huntington Beach, I swear to God. Uh, I, uh, gosh, I used to work in Huntington Beach. Honestly, the per they're... F the worst, I don't know, just dealing... Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Mom. Huntington You're Beach welcome. people are... Uh, just, they're not fun to deal with. Um, life counter, yes. Yo, a D20, though. I So, I didn't even know, but um, they started making, like, countdown dice that are actually easier to find, like, the numbers on. Because back then, we used to use regular D20s, but... They actually have countdown dice where it's like, um, you could see the the numbers count down like around. It kind of goes in a spiral as opposed to like being randomized on the D twenty, on the isocahedron. Tickets are um, apparently selling wellish over here, but I wouldn't feel comfortable going. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's smart not not to attend. I don't know. Especially you have a lot of people coming, you know, across country lines to go attend something like that. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like not a good idea. Spiral sequentially. Yep. They, they, at least, uh, last time I went to a, <clears throat> a game store, I was looking at a, I was looking for a red D20 because I, I just wanted Television. a red one. I hadn't one in a while. But, um, I was looking at the countdown die and the, um, the person at the counter was like, oh, uh, if you're looking for regular D20s, they're over here. Those are countdown. And I was like, countdown? What does that mean? 
And they explained the whole thing to me. Yeah, it spirals downwards. So you don't have to um, do the whole searching. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? I'm sure. Figs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love me some figs, though. Figs and bacon and eggs, right? Yo, bad idea, Bri. What's up, brother? How's it going? I don't want to. Maybe I should have gotten eggs. I just got an Instacart order. And, um... Jeez. Should have gotten some bacon. <laughs> Yo, yay. Television off. Mankind is so What's the plan for this run? Kill everybody? Nothing Not again. <laughs> Stupidity and violence. I'm, I'm trying to get the good ending this time around. Civilization just to get to where we are. Let's do this, Carl. That's how I be feeling right now. Ah, flip tables. Fancy game of chess. Let's sure, do it. Yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Did I choose? Oh. That was just a little bit too easy. Are your circuits rusty? Or are you just taking pity on an old <laughs> man? Neither. Carl, you just played better. Never throw a match, Marcus. If you can win, win. That's what got humanity where it is today. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. <sighs> Makes me so sad. <laughs> I know. It's an emotional time right now. A lot of things going on. Bombay. What happened to Carl in my last playthrough? Yeah, man, tell me about it. Um, last playthrough, um, Carl had a heart attack because uh, Leo got all crazy up in here. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. I don't know about y'all, but I've kind of been a mess ever since the whole T'Challa stuff. <laughs> I mean, uh, Chadwick Boseman news came out. I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> sorry to hear that, Adamantium. <laughs> Highest cleaning simulator 3000. That's, yeah, that's never. Uh... <laughs> I know. That's what I felt about this the first part of this game. I'm like, I am cleaning up a lot. But yes, I'm really sorry to hear that adamantium. It's it's never easy. And I don't mean to like pry or anything, so I, I hope that um you know I wish you strength through all that. So, 
What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I'm I sure like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. I love Give this try. part. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <laughs> I know. Totally dad vibes. See, I painted that last time. Let's do this. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting I know, only if painting were that easy. What he did just now is it would have taken years for somebody to, to be able to replicate it. I think I can do that, it's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it, grab that canvas. This game. I mean, if you're a robot, then yeah, right. <laughs> Do something for me. Close your eyes. This game Close is definitely eyes. evoking. Trust me. You wouldn't need a pr printer anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, dude. Try Mad emotions. This game is all emotions. Exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate. I am using an Xbox controller. You feel. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Yeah, the music, music is real and nice. I'm all emotion, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny they should use empathy, right? I watched a compilation hey, of all the paintings once. Oh, wow. And Carl yeah. going, oh, my God, over and over. Oh, my God. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, Most people have so much empathy that other by. people's emotions overwhelm them. Right? I feel like some people do, yeah. Absolutely. You all right? Oh my god. You don't look so good. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Dude, uh, Brian and Amelia have like the best, there. best, uh, okay. uh, emotes. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Jesus, Leo. I'm sorry. By the way, I... The answer's no. Thanks to everybody. What? I why? just unlocked a you know new why. emote, so there's this now. I just yeah. uh, made this yeah, one today. You do know why. But <laughs> feel free to you use rather, it, everybody. You'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's know, it got that I know, freaking Leo. Smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? Thanks. You know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Jesus. You never loved me. Go away. D. 
Dude, I heard Nier is like so dope. I should really put that on the list. I know. I wonder why, Leo. Maybe it's because you're a dick. And I hear the music in Nier is like super good. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're a dumb shit. <laughs> I agree. Connor! Listen to Atonement? Cool, I'm gonna hit that up. Atonement. One of my faves. Nice. Coin. <laughs> Coin con. Con con? Find Lieutenant Anderson. Scan faces. I know who it is. Can I just... I just want to scan all this other stuff. You play any MMO? The Connor Army. I do play... I play World of Warcraft. And, um... And um, I started Final Fantasy XIV, but I haven't like made a like really big push into it yet. It's just, uh, you know, time is uh, short sometimes, but I still have find time to um, play WoW just because I have a group that I, I play with normally. Like today I might be raiding today at five or so. Yo, where are you in Final Fantasy? I forget which world. I I feel like it's. remember offhand um I, it was somebody let me check drink i i because i remember i i joined a world that somebody in my discord told me to uh let's see it is diamond dust he said they said mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, folks, so next week, while I look for this, um, next Saturday, I am going to be joining Brian and Amelia on their stream uh, at the Cart Games, because they are playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider right now, and um, I'll be joining them as they uh, start their last play, or their last playthrough session. So, I'll be uh, doing a... Here he goes. I'll be doing a, um, a Q&A with them before they start the session, actually, and uh, they'll finish off Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Thank you for the follow, Alfie Curtis. What? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the cart stream. Super looking forward to that. So am I. I'm. I'm. I've been like checking in on their uh their playthrough, and uh it's 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 they're great to watch. It's just because they, you know, um they they do react so genuinely to everything. It's it's great. Yeah, <laughs> to the fire scene. I know it's so good, right? In the Porvenir fields. It's the whoa. I mean, I shared that. Um, I shared that. Sentiment, but yeah, totally. I I love it. So I am on on primal, primal famfrit, I think. In uh in Final Fantasy fourteen. You're in Ultros. I I don't know how like cross realm realm stuff works. But yeah, I'll put that up really quick again. So next Saturday, um. I think, uh, oh, it says right there, noon Pacific. So I'll be talking with them for a bit, and then uh, they're going to finish their playthrough of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, they're going to be playing that last uh, <laughs> that last fight with Dominguez. That's going to be interesting. Ooh, that took me a while, too. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, there's cross world roaming. Oh, got it. That'd be cool, man. If you start playing, let me know. Yeah, for sure. This, um, uh, are you on Sarah's Discord? Maybe I can. I'll, I'll hit you up there, Sarah Zales. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. No, I'm actually, the okay. Set by Cyberlife. I looked for or just hit up station, my Discord. Nobody knew where you were. The uh, the link. They said you were probably having throw that link out really quick. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model. No, Mr. Krabs. Well, I don't need any assistance. I just rewatched uh, Thor Ragnarok 2 and I was like, Surter! Get a little robot and get the fuck out of here. Alright, bro. Ah, Caesar's doing it again. Um. I God understand damn it. That That's how Marcus died last time. In the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Mm. Hank is the best. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? Thank you. Same the best. again, please. Dude, I could use a same again, Jim please. The technology. Make it Look at this. There just happens to be a bottle of tequila by my Oh man. How serendipitous. I am the Metatron, the voice of God. The double. To you, Hank. Oh. Ooh, yes. <sighs> Did you say homicide? <laughs> oh, this was a fun uh, scenario. It's weird to see how old we'll be in tw 2038. I know, right? I was thinking the same thing. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. I was thinking that like all these people are born in like 1990. It's kind of crazy. I'm not confirming anything. I'm gonna be an old, old man if I'm still around in 2038. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, I'd be 40. Oh, oh lucky you. So, I'd be older than that. <laughs> I'm very funny. Just tell me what happened. I'd, 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 I'd be much older than that. I'd be 42. Y'all are youngins, I swear. It's even worse before we open the The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the crazy. time, they hardly ever saw him. Oh, stayed easy, in. Worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Hank is 53. You'd be 53, Captain. I've been now. there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. I'd be here. older still. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? 
Nope. The landlord said the front door was I locked think. from the inside. I might, might, might not be up. doing math, but y'all are gone out the back way. closer what in age. What do we know about his aunt? <laughs> not much. That is closer in age to what I would be. He had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. Let's see, let's check uh, stuff. I think I'll I missed this one last need. time, so I'm gonna do this first. Oh, no, I didn't. I got that. It's like red meth. Acetone, lithium, hydrochloric acid. Those are just like inactive ingredients. A sample. Bleh. There's another android that oh, did that. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. Was it uh, Lieutenant Data that did that? Somebody that else. There's another android. That blue blood, though. Android involvement? Involvement? Dude, 19. HGB. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human writes like this. Those cigarettes, though. Chris, is so this written Pavlovian. in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. The Eden Club. How are we gonna run into Amelia? Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Blue haired Tracy. Consider yeah, there you go. Android sex officially better. <laughs> no, look, no, Connor, look away. You're only four, you're four months old. Did your parents, you ever get in that awkward situation when you're watching a movie and then there was a sex scene and your parents are in the room? <laughs> I still feel weird now. I would still feel weird, weird now. And I'm an old, you know, older guy. Murder weapon taken from here. Okay, you read that? No! <laughs> what are you doing, Connor? Theft and aggravated assault. Signs of a struggle. This over here. Not a bat. Traces of Ethereum.
Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Hmm. Deviant's still in the house. Wait, we knew this already, but... I just wanted to be dramatic about it. That's where it gets creepy. Religious offering. Let's go examine the victim. Is there anything else in here? Negatory, good buddy. Sorry, ladies, plastic can't be beat. Hmm. Let me look at the body. I'm missing, I know I'm right, I'm missing a piece of evidence. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it's just writing on the wall. Cyberlife Sands. Toluene Therium. Therium Toluene. Acetone Lithium Hydrochloric Acid. That's a weird combination. Stab wounds. Reconstruct. Okay, I might need to play this. Adamantium, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, there's, you know, a good amount of, like, replay, my second replay, or my second, uh, playthrough. I'm playing on PC, but, um, it is a little more cost-effective on, uh, if you do get it on PS4. You need to, 99 endings. 99 endings? What? It's basically Batman, I <laughs> know, right? Connor is basically, uh, the world's greatest detective. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. <laughs> 99 ending about a bitch ain't warm. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are 
obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Jeez, okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. Dang. Ooh. And he tried to get away from the android. I know, dude. Alright, that makes sense. That's, that's stabby stab. The stabbed. android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. There's a trophy for killing Connor. Really that. possible. Dang. You lost some theory. Lost theory. Some what? Theory. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few nice. hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. That's a dope uh, emo adamantium. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? <laughs> Correct. Playing this part of the game would freak me out. I had to get it wrong. <laughs> I know I get stuff wrong all the time. <laughs> they really want you to play. Okay, so afterwards he fled into this attic here. Look at that. behind us there was a ladder Doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Not even scared, Connor. Yeah, his, his ugly went yellow when the brooms fell. Check something. That's a nice, uh, nice detail. I knew that was coming, I don't know why. <laughs> I think I was looking at a different part of the screen and the movement came out of the part I wasn't looking at, so. Just trying to intellectualize the reason, I don't know.
was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Uh, Connor, what are you gonna do? Here, Lieutenant. Oh, I didn't even get a choice. Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. The actor who played that android named him. Oh nice. Come on. Oh shoot, I know, dude. Well, apparently that was the only way to go. That was gonna happen regardless. So I, I don't feel too bad about it. Son, this is good. Yeah, I'm telling you, Adamantium, you gotta jump on this, dude. This game is for real. Todd. <laughs> I always wanted to play this because I actually played the, the developer's like previous game, Heavy Rain, and oh, that game had me going. I literally, the first time I played that game, I sat down Dinner and time. um, I started playing it and I didn't I didn't uh I didn't stop until um I was done. Uh Sha Shaolin being. Um PS4 uh it's 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 um I don't know if it's better. I, I was just it's just cheaper cuz like this was uh n this is not on sale like on <laughs> on the Steam store. There wasn't much but, um, I did what I could. I think I saw it going for like 20 bucks. This was like 40 on Steam. But on PS4, I've seen copies for like 20. So I'm just looking out. <laughs> Stop moving around, for Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. Jesus, bro. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of. Yeah, all, for eh? sure, man. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Jesus. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! Game, why are you so heavy? It's your fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. That's what she deserves. Yeah, oh boy. She's gonna need a little hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. So many choices I know. Go. I'm gonna break this deviancy barrier. Come on. I got goosebumps, I know, dude. <laughs> I gotta have goosebumps right now, too. <laughs> my heart, man, I know, dude. Coming with 
me. Fuck you, dude. You ain't going nowhere. Quick, he's coming. Ooh. That was actually easier than last time. Like, I had to fight him. Live this time well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kitchen Man? How you doing? I know. Last. Uh, well, I, he lived uh, last time I played too, but um, yeah, last time I had to actually like fight him. <laughs> NJ Transit. I know. I'm actually taking New Jersey Transit. <laughs> oh, never mind that. Oh no, that's cool. <laughs> Cyber life. <laughs> so we evaded. I think last time I did this, the second, the, like the one above it, and he, I waited too long to like break through deviancy, and he was already hitting um, Alice. So I had to confront him. You usually kill him in mine. Oh, I didn't know that was. Oh, maybe next time. I forgot. Oh, somebody was. Uh, this can go so many ways. Uh, somebody mentioned last time, I forgot who it was exactly, but they were saying that there's a way you can do this. There's that, um, that was by far the most boring party I've been um, to in the last uh, years. plugin extension Every for Twitch I where, these, uh, I myself, you know, what the uh, hell am chat I can, uh, make the decisions with regard to that. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work. So to meet maybe you. next time, yeah, yeah, yeah. next no playthrough after this, about art. we can just see what happens all when everybody chooses. How much money they're gonna make out of it. The community play thing, yeah, that one. Come on, I let's forgot. have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I forgot what actually happens later if he ends up dying. I know. Yeah, I don't. I obviously don't know. But hmm, one second. Checking, see if I missed anything important. Nope. All right. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Tequila, yeah, neat as usual. Kiss my ass. Sure. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Oh man. <laughs> Todd. Um, have a good rest of the stream. Gonna get get food and stuff. See you around, my guy. Yeah, for sure. Adamantium, dude. Thank you for uh, stopping by, dude. And definitely, if you ever get a chance to pick this up, I would absolutely recommend it. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. Did um, you leave the line stay strong, studio? brother. And, um, no, have, uh, no, I'm sure I didn't. have a good meal. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the God damn it. Let's go check it out. I don't know. I don't remember if there's like any other possibilities than what I did with this last time. Okay. Oh, can I go without him? No, I don't want to take him in. Advice with old Leo, with Leo or no? Um, no. Let's let's see what happens. I appreciate it though. I'm, I'm so. I'm Leo. 
What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Yeah, Look, y'all. They're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, you gotta go, bro. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? No. <laughs> Very like presumptuous. Thing. <laughs> That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special, Pull. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? I know you ain't getting no inheritance, no. fool. Come on, let's see what you've got. Spin around this old man. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? <sighs> don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. Oops. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Leo. Oh my God. <laughs> Die, Leo. Not the good one. Leo. <laughs> My little boy. Oh, no. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. <gasps> I love... Get He's... out of here. He still has, like, compassion. Carl, I... I, I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Oh, shit! Oh... New York, New York. Okay, good. So there's that's the only way that was gonna happen. Wow. Gosh. Why this fucking game, I swear to God. <laughs> what happened before you took that knife? Mm. I look tequila. How long were you in the attic? Thanks, folks. Why didn't you even try to run away? Oh, hi, Gavin. Say something, God damn it! I did. I just. Oh, did I kill? I didn't kill in this one. Um. Fuck it. I'm out of here. This is where I got Connor killed the first time. Last last playthrough. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. It's true. You should have run away. Honestly, I <laughs> know you should have. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. <laughs> Let's do this, Connor. Alright. Try not to fuck up this time. Just wait till you meet uh, Nines Gavin. What? You change your tune then. <laughs> I know, right? Beat 
his ass later in the evidence room. Housekeeper. level two. All right, here we go. There's a fan short film made of this. No way, that's gotta be pretty cool. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. If you want to drop the link for that, that'd be cool. You don't have to, I'm just saying if you do have it. I, will t I would totally check Damage. that out later. Did your owner do that? Detroit you? Evolution. Oh, is that what it's called? Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Too low. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they gonna do to me? Detroit Awakening, then Detroit Evolution. Interesting. No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you followed me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on <clears throat> sight. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll look for them later. Pro I'll post them in the Discord. I... I appreciate the heads up, though. I can't. Hmm. Choose approach. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger. Frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Care I'm too low. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Wow, what a turn. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. I give up. I messed up there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're gonna... Damn it. <laughs> I had to be meaner. I couldn't. <laughs> well, 
Last time that I, I was Bruce mean, and dude, that guy shot himself. But he's probably gonna die anyway. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna like the lose? What are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this. Got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. All right, Gavin. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Yeah. God damn it, it still happened. Fuck. Fuck. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> Can I do a redo? Ah, fuck. What a mess. Alright, fine. How do I do this? Do I just restart? <laughs> No, wait. <sighs> Main menu, then chapters. Got it, thank you. I'm totally going to. I can't let that slide. Come on! Yeah. Fuck it, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that again! Because <laughs> screw that! Alright, alright, alright. Night. Broken the interrogation. Here we are. Game's got me feeling all types of emotions, I swear. Why'd you kill him? Why'd what you kill him? Because. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, god damn it. Say something, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. <laughs> if you intervene once, you have to keep doing it. Got it. I, I was thinking about that. We're wasting I think. our time interrogating the machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Keep on going. You That's my problem. I'm like, I start room. waffling, and After then, uh. All, it's not human. Androids don't. And the, I think that's the, uh. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. My problem with uh, playing like Deviants Connors. also have a tendency stuff. to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. It's funny when uh, Gavin plays... Uh, or, you know, the actor. He also plays the founder of Cyber, Li Cyber Life. This is a completely different character. This p chapter goes wrong for most people the first few t few times if you do a blind, I think. That's fair. I can see how. I can see how this is like this scenario is a little less like intuitive about like what you're supposed to do yep Gavin and Kamsky both played by Neil Newbin Newbon Newbon Newbin nice you did okay the first time all right Vicky <laughs> oh gosh
This is I I've messed up two times. <laughs> I detected instability in your program. I'm so trash. It can oh, trigger an unpleasant God. Okay. feeling, like fear in humans. They're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what Thanks. you want? Try. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you what apart a great if you don't say something. What's up, twitchy little ferret? How you doing? Connor has to play good and bad cup at the same time, I know, right? It's kind of like I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. To hit me. that box right there, like right on. All I want is to get you out of here. What? What are they going to do to me? going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you followed me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Why not, bro? Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. All right, all right. Everything is going to be okay. I understand how you overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. Yes! I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, I was trying. he took a bat and started hitting me. <laughs> nice song. Perfect. Yeah! For the first time, I felt. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I. So. <laughs> what's up, Vic? Uh, what's how you doing? I felt better. Thanks for jumping in chat, man. So I stabbed him again and again. Nice. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. 
I had to write it to tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. It's an offering so I'll be saved. To who? Offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to who? Yeah. To RA9. Nice. What is RA9? Only RA9 can save us. It sounds like a hex address. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. But R is what not What does a... it mean? In hex. The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. Well, that is the million dollar question. It really is. RA9. Who is RA9? Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. Don't know what RA9 is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I tell me. You still don't get a good answer. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of great performances in this game. I can only imagine, like, the kind of, like... Chris, lock it up. ...kind of stuff, you know. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't touch me. Oh, shit! What the fuck are you doing? Move it! Okay. Calm down. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. I know, again. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Shut your face, Chris, Gavin. you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. Fuck you, Gavin. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I know self-destruct. That's enough. Oh shit. Hank said fuck you. <laughs> I gotta get away with it this time. But yeah, there's a lot of good performances in this game. <laughs> I think in particular, like uh Everything is alright. Brian it's Connor, the, he has to do this weird like balancing act. Gonna hurt. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he has this weird balancing act of like being, you know, at one with his feelings and like really holding back. And it's, it's, uh, I think I would have trouble with that. <laughs> What's up, Sarah Zale? How you go? How you doing? This end better be good. I know, right? It's in my name. That's gonna be oh, that's gonna be a thing now. That's gonna be a thing. Every time um all my titles are gonna have the words be good in it somehow. Is that cheesy? Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Fuck. I'm gonna start saying that. Fuck. I kind of wish, like, I, and I don't know if they've released any, like, mocap footage of this game, but I would love to watch that. Cheesy is good. 
I know. Alright. Half my life is destroyed. Alive. Yeah, that's the thing about that struck me the most, how consistent yeah, Brian's performances and Connor's character development is, whatever the choices were made. Yeah. Ask Comey when you are on his stream. I know, dude. I moved my setup to another room. I'm actually at a friend's place right now. I'm uh, we have to go. house sitting, so we are at a different spot for right now, for this week. Um, there's some BTS stuff on YouTube. I'm sure Brian and really can point you out if you want to do. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait. That's going to be cool. It's going to be a cool talk. And over here, Earl over here flexing with his new rig. I know. I should say what's up. Like, let me give a shout out. I haven't done this yet. And um, so I have this new rig, as y'all can see. Um, I could, uh, you deserve it, homie. Man, no, you deserve it. Thank you. Um, let me pull this up. So as you can see, there's this new rig. And um, uh, I actually, uh, I have a computer guy that I've been going to for the past few weeks, or for the past few years. And because uh, um, I was, you know, I'm still raising money to uh, build a new computer, but I told him that because... Um, we were getting another, uh, uh, one of um, the co-hosts on Pan Geekery, she needed a new computer as well. And uh, I got in contact with him and he was like, hey, yo, we, I have these builds, you know, I'll hook her up, but I also have this other one. Um, if you want it, you know, you can give me whatever you want and then you can make payments on it. So yeah, Caitlin. <laughs> so yeah, that's how Caitlin got her computer is, um, uh, Yes, that's uh, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, he was like, "Hey, you can make payments on this computer," and um, you know, I'm like, "Dude, that's that's dope ass." So he hooked it up. I do have to pay him back, but like, of course. But um, eternal, yeah, shouts to actually. Let me put his um. Yes, um. That is him, but he hooked it up, fatty build. I mean, look at this thing. And uh, I just have to, you know, hit him back when I can. He actually built the computer I was using before, and that was like several years ago. And uh, he came through again with this. So, like, if you ever need, a, if you do need any computer work, anything you're building, and you're in um, in the Southern California area, do hit him up. Um, he does good ass work, as you can see. This it's personalized here. You can't really see it. Um, if you if you look, you, it's also personalized. It says my na my uh my handle. Really be good. He did that in vinyl. So yeah, good guy, Jeremy Jim thirty three. But uh, oh actually, <laughs> you you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Let me. I forgot to do this. But um, yeah. If you look at that, it says my name right there. Yeah, good guy. Just wanted to shout that out real quick. Thank you guys. But I'll actually I keep I keep on saying uh, I was I'm gonna do this, but um, I'll post pictures of this rig and the rig he built for Caitlin actually in the um in uh in the Discord later, and y'all can see the dopeness. Nice. Yeah, it's super cool. She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. Jamar GG, what's way. up? There's what a nice so guy. Totally a nice guy, dude. I can do. But yeah, he personalized these on um, Caitlyn's rig. He actually asked me like what her favorite color was and uh, she had a favorite animal. And <laughs> he, he uh, incorporated that stuff into the build, so... Yeah, the guy does good, does good work. I think I'm gonna take the same path on this one. It's gonna be okay. If I remember correctly, I stole the wire Let's cutter. Find to spend the night. I'll go straight to stealing the wire cutter, I think. 
because I, I went into the laundromat and I thought about like maybe stealing the uh, the guy's clothes, and then I didn't want to look bad in front of Alice. So come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Let's see how to trigger that. Gosh, I'm so. Uh, I'm so glad that that scene with Connor went better than it did last time. An abandoned house. Can't At least be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. Well, it's just for what one is that uh, no emote? Look for us here. Looks so like. Can cut f fence. Squat in house. I'm missing this uh, emote. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. We're gonna meet that guy, the Ralph. <laughs> oh Ralph. And succulents. Oh shit. Alice, the fuck? Where you at? Oh god, I'm not looking forward to the Zlatko. Stuff. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Asshole. Did I get reset there? But that's on the other side of town. Oh, I don't know. Right. We need a place uh, for tonight. I don't know what happened exactly. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using the choice Which character does, uh... Oh, you mean, uh, Brian's, his wife? Look, the store is still open. Uh, Amelia plays, At least you'll um, the blue-haired Tracy when you go to the, uh, Eden Club. So she's one of the, um, the bots there. One of the androids. What do you want? Alright. Stank attitude. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get Yeah, Brian's tonight? wife is blue haired Tracy. <laughs> a homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Stank. Steal? Shoplift? Ooh, let's just look at these pastries real quick. Those don't look appetizing. No, no, no. Oh, whatever. Didn't mean to do that. Let's not do that right now. Priority is the wire cutters. Hey, Bearded Bogle. Thank you for the, the raid. How you doing today? Raid! What's up, everybody, from Bearded's Raid? How are you doing today? Welcome to uh, the stream. We are doing a second playthrough of, um... 
Has Detroit become human right now? Hey, Bearded. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? Get this uh, fence cut. You can squat in there. Hopefully not get killed by Ralph. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that while you were here. So uh, thank you everybody for helping un unlock a new emote. I just designed that one today. So y'all got a new one. <laughs> GG! Yas. <laughs> Ouch. Are you all right? All good ones, thank you. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. All right. Squat in house? Yep. That is pretty sad there. here but Alice mm -mm. don't be a weirdo Ralph wait what are you doing visitors Ralph doesn't like visitors they're nasty they may hurt Ralph she's just a little girl she's not gonna hurt you little girl she's not a little girl anyway what does that matter maybe she wants to hurt Ralph I'm an Android too. I really Ralph. Think afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. Ooh, foreshadowing. What they did to Ralph. I did see Ralph last time, yeah. He was a. Uh, same. Because I, uh. Nothing to worry about. I tried squatting in this place last time, We're too. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Are you sure, Ralph? Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on. Come. Come, come on. This way. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> Make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. That always sounds creepy. Ralph also speaks it's in third person. Night, right. Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Start fire, make a bed for Alice. Oh man. Firewood. 
Where did I sleep last run through? Um, I slept right here in front of the fireplace. B PB jams. Kid run! I know. What's up, dude? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I slept right here. I'm just doing a second playthrough of this game, cause whew, that last that last ending did not do so well. I appreciate that they used kindling in this game. As opposed to just lighting the wood, which people usually just <laughs> do in games and TV. Like, nah, man, you need kindling. Get some pine needles. Talking to Ralph is totally weird in this part. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. <laughs> I'm such the boy scout, dude. So me, me and Jamar here in chat, we used to be boy scouts together. <laughs> and we spent many, many nights under the stars. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? There's this Why one time even like where we got that? airlifted out of uh, forest <laughs> together. Maybe I did something wrong. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? Because he's a dick. I don't know, Alice. He'll never leave me right now. <laughs> this is the best story. I actually... Um... I promise. Told that story on Reddit together. once. Sure, Ed. Aww. Android hugs. Why did we have to get airlifted out? We didn't have to get airlifted out, but um, basically we were on a, a hiking trip that was planned to be um, a weekend long, and we were slow because we didn't take into account the topography when we were um, planning our route through the forest. So um, we decided to take an extra day, and these were this was the day in the days be before like cell phones were commonplace. So the parents of all the kids in the troop, we all got, they all got worried, called, called the sheriff, um, and, uh, on that last night, we decided to split the troop. The, um, the older, faster kids were going to, um, try to forge, uh, forge ahead as fast as they, as they could back to civilization. And then, um, us, me, uh, Jamar here, and, uh... J, I think, yeah. Uh, we we stayed back with one of the scoutmasters, and uh, we were going to catch up with them afterwards. So um, when uh, we woke up in the morning and we cooked breakfast, we broke camp and we were about to head out. When we saw, um, you know, about a hundred yards away, um, uh, these dudes were like in full full on like hiking gear, like decked out. We're like just killing killing all the terrain in terms of like they were just chewing up terrain we were moving through the forest so fast and we're like who are these dudes man they look all pro and they get up to us and they call out the lead guy calls out he he says excuse me you guys are you guys troop 145 and we're like yes that's us and he goes we've been looking for you 
Um, the parents are worried. Search and rescue, yes. Search and rescue. Um, and um, it probably was a bad idea to split the troop. But uh, he gets up to us and then he tells us a situation that um, he they actually came across the rest of the troop uh, on the same trail back. And that um, the parents had, you know, called the, the sheriffs and all that stuff um, because uh, they were worried. And as he's telling us this, he uh, talks to the other uh, search and rescue party. And he says, I don't want to go back. I'm tired. Let's call in the Hilo. <laughs> so uh, I was like, did he just say the Hilo? And that's what happened. Um, uh, helicopter. He called in the helicopter and it touched down. We, <laughs> we got a helicopter ride. <laughs> uh, back to uh, civilization. So yeah, we we got we got a helicopter ride and we didn't have to make the hike. <laughs> the rest of the older scouts must have hated us, but we were on the nightly news that night. Because <laughs> when we got back to civilization, this, the sheriff station, the uh, there was a whole bunch of news va news vans there, and um, they actually interviewed our scoutmaster. <laughs> and uh, uh, the only the only bit of it that they took and they they broadcast on the nightly news was. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, that was great. But I mean, we we had a lot of other camping trips beside that. We we hiked. Um, we did Joshua Tree. We did we used to do this like weekly scout camp in uh, Angeles Nas National Forest called Camp Talkwitz. And that was like just spending a, a week in the mountains, like cooking your own food. Did the whole merit badge thing. Yeah, it was fun. Marcus, got you hurt anyway. I'm sorry, buddy. He looks so like a uh, T-800 with a missing eye. To have a cutout from the press, press telegram about that story, dude. That's dope. Gosh, I didn't even know we made it to the into the newspaper as well. <laughs> Jeez, that's kind of funny, or I don't know if it's really funny, but you had the only troop in Long Beach with like uh, a bunch of brown kids in it. <laughs> we get that kind of coverage. Oh man. Yo, Angfernal, what's up, brother? How you doing? I mean, ABC News was probably ABC News was probably more big time. True, true, true. I still remember, like, there there was definitely a. Uh, the shot of us I remember on the news was we were like standing by a truck, you, me, and Jay, and they kind of just panned past us. <laughs> we're like, oh man. This is my debut on the news for getting lost. Well, lost. We were just slow. Mr. Slayer was like, don't look at the cameras, it's right. <laughs> I don't even, I'm thinking back on it, I don't know why. 
<laughs> I think he was just really embarrassed. That is still traumatic right there. This isn't horror movie vibes at all. Fuck you. Where are you going? Do you know where you're going to? This part is great. Yeah, I love this part. Give me that eye. Yes. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife maintenance cell. find the pump regulator. Your head's off and you don't have an instant anomaly, I know, right? Detecting anomaly. Oh yeah, baby. Welcome back to the living, Marcus.
It's an absolutely brilliant scene, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty sad though, right? Do it, Marcus. I know the music. The music in this game is so good. It's score like the score is The score is yeah, it's it's a good score. It adds so much. It is sad seeing so many are still alive. And then like pieces. Can't decide which of the storylines has the best soundtrack. Yeah, I actually don't. I don't know. I'm actually not sure who the uh, the composer is. Actually, either. Should look that up later. No, oh, this is where he gets his cool jacket. There's actually three composers, one for each character. Nice, that's good to know. Three different composers, one for each. That's interesting. Huh. What an interesting uh, way to approach that. Oops. Did I die? No. I'm just checking in with Amanda. Hey there, Amanda. What's cracking? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Mm. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thanks, I had multiple tries. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. <laughs> did I die? Great reaction to the Zen Garden. <laughs> replaced by new instructions. I know, right? <laughs> this... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive... Westworld vibes, totally. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I'd get Ma Matrix slash... also Matrix vibes from this. Oops. I will adapt to his personality. Because I totally, like, even from the beginning, the oh shit, the I had, like, an inkling that this might not be, like, a physical place. It was something inside Connor's head, and I totally think that's, a, that's the case. More and more I miss this game. Have fun playing this hunt. Thanks, Mantha. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing? I have not seen iRobot. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. But I'm totally like. Hurry, Connor. 
There's little time. Like a man. She's just like a. Uh, she's like I don't know. Is she like a mainframe at Cyber Life or something? Mantha, so you've played this played this game before? I'm, I don't know if you've left already, but. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Oh yeah. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Anything cool to look at? Connor and Hank give the same vibes. Oh, as the main characters in the iRobot. Interesting. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Aha. Uh -huh. She's an android. Wait, this one? No. It's this one. Yeah. You and you come with me. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, <laughs> we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Have you watched Almost Human? Uh, no, that's... Oh, see, I haven't seen that. Either. I'll have to watch all these robot movies. I haven't watched iRobot, Almost Human... Well, I, I, I Almost Human is a TV show, right? I, have, I haven't seen Ex Machina yet. That's a deficiency. Fred Frazier, hey, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the cheers, man. How are you doing? Kitchen Pound, who X Machina is crazy good. Ex Machina is great, will not disappoint. Oh yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Especially since, uh... Call Hank Anderson. Whoops. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I just wanted to hear him say it's that. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the <laughs> office. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I w really did want to watch Ex Machina, because Alicia Vikander. Because she played Lara Croft. Um, dude, uh, again, Fred, thank you for the biddies. Super appreciate it. Japanese maple. Ooh, I want donuts. Is there a donut place around here? Detroit basketball. Jimmy's bar. Dog hair. St. Bernard. St. Bernard. Oops. There you go. <laughs> Asshole. I like this one. Nice. <laughs> Real police. Sumo! Too bad they didn't make a, make a sec second season of Almost Human. Real good. Mm. Gotta check that out. What's it's up? Good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. <laughs> I like digs. I like dogs. 
I thought the world building uh, that show was really good. Character arcs have been not inconsistent. Network is and episodes out of the order. Minka Kelly is is okay, also in <laughs> almost human. On my desk every day. Funny. We've always had isolated incidents. She also played an android, or well, is that a spoiler? Their android you don't have to answer that. Crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. I like dogs. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. Clancy Brown is so good. I shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, <laughs> nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Ooh. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Bro. Now, if you'll excuse me, That's I've extreme. got work to do. Extreme! Um, not an android, a genetically enhanced human, if I remember right. Ooh. Bio, uh, bio biotechnology stuff. Hey, look. Keela. <sighs> Mr. Krabs! Um... I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hank was hey, born with technology. If you can't I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? <laughs> Where was so he get hiding? the fuck out of my office. Hank is a millennial. Yeah, that's a crazy. Have part. a nice day, Captain. He's not even like the oldest millennial. Like, I'm close to that. <laughs> I get the impression my presence causes you. He was born in '85, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> Connor. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <laughs> I know Connor's over here. This cracks me up too. It's so cringe. It's great. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? dog hairs on your chair I like dogs <laughs> what's your dog's name <laughs> what's it to you I like dogs sumo they call him sumo you're a Detroit Gears fan right Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday I like dogs that's it's what so I was good. watching at the bar last night. Oh. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? Yuki really like Gaming, what's up? It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Five times well, I like dogs I combo. Really wow, well, I know kept such. track of the stuff. But I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids. <laughs> Brian said it was, that was his uh, favorite I was line. Wondering, That's a good line. Is there 
any reason in particular you despise me. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to there know. There is one. I am heavy metal. This is true. Oh, I'm not doing well here. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I'm just going to start working. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. They're in that terminal. on your desk. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to them about ours. Scan all the files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. David Cage was not happy about that being his favorite. Is is David Cage the writer? <laughs> that could be a good starting point for our investigation. Nice. <laughs> Come on, that's a great line. I like dogs. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But Yo, uh, what's up? And hey, don't talk to me. Matthias, you know me. how you doing? I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Thanks for stopping by. I'll chase it up. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like. Working. Jeez, come on, bro. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that attacked the guy last night. Three so little words out of thirty thousand. I'm on it. <laughs> There's so many more impactful lines. Yeah, it's, I I can only imagine like a game like this where you have multiple branching like storylines. There's that's got to be huge, huge script. I don't know what like maybe you can ask them like what shooting something like this is like. You know when I talk to them, because like something like uh, Tomb Raider, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, is like we shot maybe we have we had maybe twelve. No, no, no. We had maybe I had like five or six um, shooting days, and then like uh, six days in the booth. So it, it was like tons of days. But I can imagine something like this. You you know where you've got to you know shoot all the different uh, possibilities. It's got to be much longer. It is the best line though. Plus mocap, right, yeah. Like those, the mocap days were the longest because those were full eight hour days. And uh, I think if, you know, if they did something similar with this, you can get through like three or four scenes per day. It's a little faster than film just because like you don't require as much setup or like makeup or costume changing. But, um, yeah. still no you're not it's gonna take this money I didn't even use this cash I'm just taking it anyway just in case mm. I wonder what he was going to do with this bird. No, 
Oh, poor Ralph. I feel so alive. I like uh, the I like dogs and another line that Deefy and Connor hasn't said yet. No, oh, nice. I can't wait. Cause I'm gonna get Deviant Connor this playthrough, damn it. Revive fire. But I know which one you mean because I love that one too. Nice. Look at that alcohol collection. Or what looks like an alcohol collection. Cyber Wildlife. First Android Zoo opens. Kind of understandable, but for Brian, it probably is one of those <laughs> most impactful lines. Very strongly connected to the whole Connor army. Yeah, true. I would guess. Me too. Has Brian had any of the other actors on the game on uh, from the game on the podcast? I mean, on on the stream. Like, I forgot the actor, her name, off the top of my eye. I, I don't remember her name, but that would be kind of cool. Jesse Williams, but he's, like, famous. Neil's been there a few times. Uh, he had the guy who played the android Connor uh, uh, interrogated, I think. Oh, got it, got it. All the, also the actor who plays Ralph. Valerie and Jesse haven't been. Got it. <laughs> Y'all like the same line. I can't wait to hear it. Let's check what's upstairs. Also the actor who plays the Jerry's. That's awesome. <laughs> That part was like, what is going on? <laughs> it's one of Brian's more recent favorite lines. I was just thinking about how um, this game is decidedly a little more PG-13 than uh, Heavy Rain was. Because there was a scene in the Heavy Rain where I was like, please nobody walk in right now. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. Yeah, heavy rain. You remember the scene. <laughs> I wasn't even playing it at home. I was playing it at like my, my college roommate's house. And I was like, oh god, if his wife walks in, <laughs> how am I going to explain this? Um... <laughs> Emane Slitheen, what's up? How are you? He did. Uh, he named his uh, character since he's only he only has a title. Oh, character Ortiz is an android. Heavy Rain was hardcore. Thanks for stopping by, Emane. I'm chilling. You know, I'm, this is my second playthrough of uh, Detroit Become Human. And uh, I'm trying to do uh, something 
do a playthrough where I get a better ending than I did for the first playthrough through because <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> Shaolin being. That was the android's name. Can androids grow their hair back? Probably not. I'm from the Connor Army, and I heard from Brian that you joined them in the finale of uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Will that be next Saturday? Yes, that is the plan. Uh, as good a time as any to plug this again, but uh, I am planning to join um, Brian and Amelia for um, their last session of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which will be uh, next... Yeah next uh this coming saturday so that is the the fifth um i'll be there for uh, the first part of the the stream the first uh hour or so and then uh they're going to continue on with their playthrough of shadow of the tomb raider until uh they finish the game so yeah absolutely if everybody would like to join that that's uh coming up yeah next saturday the fifth on uh at noon Excited. <laughs> Be an awesome finale for sure. Let's go. We did, uh, let's see. We did black last time. Let's do white. Just because. It's kind of interesting. Blonde. I'm going to go white. I wonder if this like changes things because you look like kind of more androidy. I don't know. She looks more punk. I dig it. Yeah. That sound though. But yeah, I'm super excited to be able to talk with them. It'll be cool. We can nerd out about, like, acting stuff. <laughs> What's here? Oh, fuck me. Holy shit. Well, that's not what I wanted to find. So That's over. Free to go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, Hank likes us. Last driver saw it at 2.30. Seen at a convenience store. It stole wire cutters. There must be a reason. Wire cutters? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing them. It had wire cutters, but it was looking for a place to hide. Hmm. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? Who's my favorite character? Ooh, that's tough. Maybe it didn't go After last playthrough, um, it was uh, Kara, actually. So, uh, I don't know. After this playthrough, it might change. Just because, you know, we get different stories. Because I... <laughs> fuck. Um, I... Um, the little girl. My last playthrough, I, I, didn't, I wasn't able to get uh, Connor A to present. deviate. So, to I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Raffle cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. I've never got that piece Come of dialogue. Oh, with Hank. 
gosh, so many, um, so many like little nuances. Kara, time to go, Kenya. That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? You'll see. Succulent. 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 Do I like Gavin? I mean, Father, I think he's an interesting girl. character. I think he's, Please, I wouldn't hang out with the guy. <laughs> what did she say? Oh, we've never seen the CCTV lines. Interesting. Uh, she said she can't wait to eat it. She's very Ralph. hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest no, one Ralph. he could find. <laughs> Succulent. I love the, how he just burns <laughs> the uh, whatever that is. Muskrat. Go ahead. <laughs> Didn't actually cook it. It's just burnt. You can still see the hairs. <laughs> Yo. Calm thy face with your knife. Oh shit. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. This is new. No. Just that Ralph can't control his anger. When his anger comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He becomes stupid. Full of hatred. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? Shoot. It's the android sent by Cyberlife. All this stuff is always like, uh, I have, I, have, I feel like such a conflict of interest whenever they do this. <laughs> like, who do you want to, to achieve their goal? Because you're playing both now. Those Ralph emotes. Scandroid. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. skin damage extreme heat like red hot poker okay don't be afraid I'm not gonna hurt you there's blue blood on the fence I know another Android was here Ralph scratched himself coming through that's Ralph's blood Don't eat. 
Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers gotta hug. Androids don't need heat, nor eat. Heat, nor eat. Chase, though, I remember this. Are we gonna do it different? Let's see. Run, Connor! They're over there! Thanks, cop person. shit, Alice. Holy shit. Six times combo. I know I like when he's happy with us too. <laughs> I live for Hank's approval apparently. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for the uh, Ralph emotes. That was so much more hectic last time when I actually had Connor run. Yas. I know it's no fun. I yeah, I was gonna yeah. The, so the last time, yeah, you're y'all are using new emote. Um, but uh, last time I I had Connor run after them and it was so hectic. But I'm just trying to get a good ending this time. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. I still might fail at that. Several cause... sources report that CyberLife has provided we'll Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have... Originally started watching Brian and Amelia back in March 2019, but couldn't be confirmed in the community member because of my health. Oh, sorry to hear. It's just amazing how much the community has grown since then, but without losing its essence of being welcoming. That's great. I'm, I'm glad. They, they seem to do a really, uh... Well, they're, they are doing a really good job. I mean... I can imagine, like, their, their stream has stayed wholesome as ever this entire time, you know.
Keeps reminding me of uh, whenever I see Ferndale in my head. I, uh, uh, I think Fruitvale, which is f you know far less happy. Not that this game is happy, but. <clears throat> Jericho is. <laughs> She's like, shut up. In a couple of weeks, Cyberlife should be sending you a new Chloe. <laughs> Good to know. A new Chloe, though. Hey, Matthias, what's up again? How you doing? I was saying this last time, and uh, uh, who agreed with me? But like, this looks so much like uh, like oh, downtown LA. Hey, Matthias, thank you for the following. For the following, <laughs> thank you for following. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> thank you for following. Hydrate. Actually, yeah, let me do a hydrate really quick. Um, gotta go get some Z's, but have a good time zone. <laughs> good, have a good time zone, everyone. Yeah, for sure. Um, thank you for stopping by. Totally appreciate it. Um, be right back really quick. I'm just gonna grab a... Grab some water really quick, and I'll be right back. I haven't set up my BRB yet, but... Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back.
Wahaha! I have returned. With my absurdly large glass of water. Thank you for the hydrate, Matthias. Cheers. Mm. That's some high quality H2O. All right, let's do this. Try to take a bite of this green hole bar. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let's find us a Jericho. Let's see what the parking rates are like in uh, 2038. First 20 minutes, three dollars. Each additional minute, two bucks. Discount A, discount B. Rate and effect 10. Wow, you haven't changed at all. That might actually be be cheaper than now. Space one, yeah, there you go. Sparkle. Let's do it, Marcus. Slick. Trying to hide from me? The granola bar. Oh, damn.
I like that um, Marcus is he's realistic about his um, his athletic prowess. He's like, nah, I can't do that. Skilled for a nurse, right? It's what you don't know. All nurses have secret super athletic powers. That's the part they don't tell you about nursing school. They train you to uh, do everything at like an Olympic level. That's probably why I wasn't a nurse. I'm just kidding. Real though. <laughs> He's an RK series, and Kamsky personally made him. Oh, interesting. Is that what that means? That designation RK. Slayer, though. Considering honor is an RK2, we can guess it's a designation for unique prototypes. Oh, you don't, but you don't think that's canon. Marcus is an RK200, and he was made specifically for Carl as a gift. Got it. That's why there's 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 not one there's another that that looks like him, uh, <clears throat> right? I'm guessing. Because you see, Kara's around. You see Norths around. A whole bunch of Simons. I missed that last time, I think. No, I didn't. Did I? No, I got that. I still find it interesting how this game treats androids like, you know, the, the human creators. They didn't make them superhuman or like in any sh way, shape, or form, really. Like, they don't have 
um, heightened senses of hearing or or um, s or vision or strength really made him like pretty much close as close to humans as possible with you know with the obvious like um, um, superiority and like mental ability and, and like computational power but like um, and memory retention but other than that like the physical stuff I'm, I'm saying is like still the same as humans, it seems. Life balancing update, right? Poor Connor thinks he's the only RK to exist. Right. He's like, I'm special. No, there's another. probably cost effective to not make the android stronger. This is true. Like the uh, kind of technology to actually make that happen is probably uh, pretty cost prohibitive. Like I'm just thinking about like material science. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I forgot that happened. I <laughs> seem to love it. Thanks. Uh, in the extras, there's a video of Kamsky talking about the androids when they were first made. Oh, interesting. The jump scare gets me every single time I start a new playthrough. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That one in particular is going to of nowhere. Feels like there should be a jump scare here, but there's probably not gonna be one. Because that would just be expected. No! Wow. <laughs> you like the younger, nerdier, less creepy Kamsky. Yeah, the Kamsky that you talk about talk to at the in this game with the uh, weird red pool. And all the Becky is Becky's? I can't remember. But um Yeah, that guy's a real douche nozzle. Welcome to Jericho. Simon. No, the one was pretty linear. Okay. To try not to piss off Hank again. He still is full of himself, though. <laughs> you can imagine, like, where the, you know the the human prototypes for. I mean, he's a human, but uh, the prototypes for uh, that kind of character are Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Does everyone uh, who finds Jericho go through that? <laughs> no, crash, bang. Ow, fuck dead. Um, oh, bang, fuck dead. Um, I don't know, right? Does everybody know this? Because the only way you could have diverged after, like, finding that last clue would, uh... I guess maybe everybody else actually made it across the bridge before it collapsed. But I don't know. 
Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, you won't regret this. <laughs> what is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I love the relationship between Hank and Connor, father and son. Totally. Totally father and son vibes. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. At Cyberlife thought everything, huh? There you go. Hamburger. Mm. I should have bought hamburgers. No, nah, I had hamburgers yesterday. And Locomoco. Gary Gaze. Gary Kays. Wow. Dyslexia. Um, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. I probably laughed at the same thing last time. <laughs> yeah, breach of hygiene regulations. Wow, no criminal record. Ah, uh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Every time I have played, Marcus here. always uh, uh, falls. Follows me everywhere. Hey, what's up? Hey. Place is a C. Poor Connor, he doesn't eat, I know. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. <laughs> yeah. No fries, though? I know, right? <laughs> Steal the hamburger from Hank. You didn't pay for your meal. <laughs> Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, Hell no, so why quick. Why make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. He cares for him, but doesn't want to show it. Absolutely. That's totally what this is. <laughs> Emotes. It always cracks me up. Yeah, it absolutely cracks me up. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Thanks, Face Though. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. Which can lead to them emulating a human. <laughs> He's reminding me of the audience at E3 playing through the first chapter. Really feel <laughs> and somebody shouting, Make the bed! <laughs> <by irrational instructions, laughs> which can lead to That's hilarious. Behavior. Which you actually get to do with uh, Kara. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? <laughs> Why do you hate androids so much? Lol. I have my reasons. Ooh, we I can't wait to find that out. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with 
personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Weird. I just got a report of a suspected oh, okay. deviant. It's a few blocks away. Cutter. We should go have a look. I feel good ab about this path. I feel uh I'll be in the car if you need me. I feel the deviant Connor like coming 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 on. <laughs> Those Connor emotes. DV8. DV8. I think the wink was improvised. Hey, I could Connor. imagine that. You run out of battery. Oh, it's a, the mode is Connor winking. That's great. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Question the suspect. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hide. Rock pigeon. Columbus. An LED Lydia. under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. <laughs> Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Oh, shit. Stay behind me. Got it. That music though. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Let me just read this magazine while you're all, uh, Hank is clearing the everything. Connor sounds like a kid saying no <laughs> when he asks him about the elevator and there. Red Isaac. Makes me feel like I should make more Tomb Raider emotes. Maybe I should do that. Oh! What the fuck is this? Ah! Uh, Jesus, this place stinks. Uh, well, it looks like we came for nothing. Do I think Our that newspapers gone. will be like that in the future? I can imagine if they can get like, you know, the displays um, as, you know, that cheap, it'll probably happen, but um, other than that, unless those are like actual permanent displays and people just get the newspaper sent to, um, or magazines sent to uh, uh, like a permanent device, which is kind of what happens now, so. The smell must be really bad, yeah. I don't know if anybody has raised birds before, but... Man, the copious amounts of shit. <laughs> it is, it's, there's so much crap. It's, there's so much. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? I don't understand this. Also, it's, it's actual, uh, Found book in print. I don't know. It looks like a notebook. But it's indecipherable. Let's see what we uh, get here. So many birds. Suspect doesn't eat. Cares for wild animals. Jacket, second hand initials RT. RT, probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something What's your mom this? does. I missed this last time. Rupert Travers. No. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Oh, look at that! I caught a bird mid-flight. 
Let's check here first. God, I can just... This must smell horrible. Sample? Sink. Double U. Triple U. I it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. RA9. Any idea what it means? RA9. Blue. Written 2,471 times. Not Ethereum, though. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. Traces of avian fecal matter. Still wet. Paper is one of the best parts Smell of the book. Paper. You see the pages turning yellow. Suspect heard us enter. I knew, I knew that, but still. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Ah! God damn it, fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! <laughs> it's like I ain't running. Fast but risky. Connor, you can do it. Oh, this is where I crashed last time on my old computer. Smooth Connor. Fast but risky. Let's do it. with the song. Shit. It is a pretty good song. The 
parkour in this game is amazing. <laughs> Chase me, yeah, this is great. Look out. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, man, Hank. Whoa. No! Oh crap. Oh, shit! Oh shit! We had it! <laughs> Fuck! I let I left fault. I should have been faster. I left Hank to his own devices last time. <laughs> That's alright. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. And he like smacked me hard like all night when I left him there, hanging on the ledge. Hey, Connor. Great job, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Nothing. folks. Oh, they're becoming besties. I love it. Yeah, and <laughs> achievement unlocked. Save Hank because I didn't do that last time. 11% risk, exactly 11% too much, I know. I'm so bad. The first time I saw it, I was like, 90%, that's like an A-, minus, right? You can, that's cool. Uh, see, I would have left Hank maybe because I would have thought he would be angry for getting the job done. Yeah, see, it was a little bit of that. And also, like, the percentage, 90%, Jesus. I was like, that's, that's past. Like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. They didn't tell the director they were going to do that, so they thought... And you knew um, only an android. he oh, really yeah. hit Brian briefly. Oh, oh wow. Like us can find Jericho. I've you never captured that signs, guy. Oh, really? <laughs> I, to to the <laughs> I did it once, the first time, last playthrough. <laughs> it did not go over well with Hank. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I like how as I the game progresses, how everybody's like... Have more freedom here than you ever did. Threads get updated in... Um, here in Jericho. Maybe I was never like everybody gets better clothes. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now I need to decide. Thank you for the follow, Eris Copilot. You're lost. Just like the rest of How's us. How's it going today? We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. This game does look great, doesn't it? <clears throat> it doesn't hurt that I have it like on, on Max right now. I think. I'm pretty sure I have it on... Um, yeah, I have it on Ultra. Look at that. <laughs> Again, this thing, so. I am uh, pushing them pixels. Yeah, with that new awesome rig, thankfully that can't happen. <laughs> Thanks. And now I'm very grateful. Time to be a pyro. That's just what happens in the future. Everybody turns into pyromaniacs. 
specifically Android. Find Lucy. I know, sad. I'm not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? Oh, this tied into the back of a car. Oh, Jesus, we're going to hear his story. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Sucks. <laughs> Show me. Oh, I forgot he had that. I'll stop the bleeding. Yeah, Lu Lucy's design is pretty cool. She's like a little bit um, Kerrigan from uh, Drink this. from StarCraft. Little, uh, can't think of who else I'm thinking about. But I love the way that like her, um, her hologram, like it's shifting. Give me your hand. Sure. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Yeah, like her skin doesn't even, like, doesn't really work. Yeah. 
is it? It's pretty cool. Start all the fires. What's up, though? How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Do androids get bored? Hey, what's up, Oxymoron BR? How you doing? A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean to kill you. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not <laughs> that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Damn, bro. Told you straight up. Don't come come to me with your sob stories. Shut down. Crate already emptied. West Torrance Avenue. She's good in this. Hope she does more work in games. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> at least you didn't make her resent you. I'm good at that. <laughs> Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. The Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. Hmm. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Right. Humans will never let us. Which I is know. why we won't ask permission. Right. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Well then. Maybe it's worth a try. Simon. Oh, shit. This weirdo's part. You gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. Soon as we'll all be just back online. Should have known. <laughs> Look at this house. <laughs> Twitch encouragement. Hey there. I'm here to encourage you to keep on streaming. You're doing great. Well, thank you, Twitch encouragement. What an awesome bot. Or maybe you're not a bot. Who knows? Hey, what's up, Bang Colonel? 
Oh, you can't. We know you were here earlier. Yeah, I know, dude. Oof, I remember this one too. 6 a.m. Right, right. This does not seem good. <clears throat> Everything is all wrong. Oh, kitty. Kitty emote. Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. It's like from the beginning, dude. This guy was just like, uh, feels no bueno. Like, as soon as he Come actually started talking, Don't be he shy. was like... Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of a big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this... Big, empty old house. Please. Make no, yourselves kitty at home. Emotes. Kitty. Kitty. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Should have known. Look at all the theory on his like stains on his fingers. What about her? Kay. She's human. And you want to find a kitty, safe kitty, place? Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Somewhere there are a lot of kitty moths. <laughs> I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place yeah, for Canada. a fresh start. When? Yes, that's. <laughs> that's exactly what we. Want. I know the details you notice on the subsequent playthroughs. Yeah, look at that. He has all this Ethereum. I can help you. All over his but hands. First, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Shit. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Nothing good is in the basement. I have more de dog emotes than cat emotes. Nice. Oh, that's I a good like one, Kenya. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. All right, you weirdo. Oh, look at all those bow outs. Puppers. You could just stand over there. Okay. Guess we'll enter Zlatko's machine. I 
should warn you. This could be quite unpleasant. It already is, bro. No problem. Thanks for stopping by, Catnap. See you soon. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. And, uh, That's why it's so hard to yeah, find them. Day. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Jeez. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Can lock it up. That's what you get for having I a know, dream. it. Right. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me. You're better off being erased and feeling nothing. Erased. No more pain. Dashed. Shut your face! I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. <laughs> no, Alice is not an it. Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. Jesus Christ. Wake up, Meet me in the living room. <laughs> That's inconclusive, right? Does he just assume you're gonna <laughs> escape? of the essence. Well, that didn't work. Got it. Hey, fuck. Yo, uh, James the Tang, what's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by, dude. How are you? Cool, cool, cool. Hey, good job on the reading yesterday, man. I didn't get to stay for the entire thing, but, um, yeah. Good stuff. 
I haven't played the game yet, so you don't want to get spoiled. I appreciate the lurk. What the fuck? Yeah, I was yeah. I was there for a little bit. Help us. Just open this. Lurk mode, have a good stream. Thanks, dude. Thank you for the lurk. I'll see you no. later. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Jesus. I couldn't get out and pretty much panicked when I first played the scene. Nothing got accomplished that evening. Oh no. I I honestly thought um, I, that was like the end for Kara the first time I played it. I was like, what do I do? Nothing is working. This music. Yes, Lockwood. We should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slacko. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh, yes. What are you doing? You're not going to hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. I'm looking for a little girl. Have you seen her? A little girl? No, no, no. I haven't seen her. Jesus. No. No, of course not. There's a still part, part where the guy could like, absolutely fuck me later. I remember she's in like the last freaking room. Finished. 
chair. Go fetch the little one. Oh fuck. Right away, Zach. Fuck, fuck. Let's go here. Come on. Put the fuck the fuck. I've managed an almost clean getaway on this part. I, I, I don't remember if I got like I had a clean getaway last time, but they're searching the house. We've got to get out before they find us. Shit. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck's sake! Fuck me. You're disobeying the master. You're disobeying the master. I, 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 I can't let you do that. I must warn him. Yes, yes, yes. That's for sure. Master, yes. I must warn him. Fuck, dude. They're here. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ended him when I had a chance. Oh, that's gonna work. Run! I like Alice. how Luther is doing the uh, the Jason Voorhees walk. Go, Alice! No, I won't leave. Go, run as fast as you can. This is slow, deliberate. Like, I'm not gonna rush. I, I know they're gonna you. fuck up somehow. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What Ooh, are you doing? The turn still happens. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. 
I said, get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. <laughs> oh, shit. How dare you. His heart's not in it. How dare you. How dare you, sir. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master. Jesus. <laughs> At least didn't grab that axe right there. That would have been gruesome. Or maybe they should have grabbed that axe right there. Who knows? I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Yeah, Luther, robot daddy. I was so scared of losing you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Yuki. Monsters Ambush Life Co. I wonder what this is, like, the one right above it, if I don't, like, maybe if I don't let, let go the, uh, the monsters. Luther has joined your party. <laughs> right. Chase started. Should have killed that fucking android. <laughs> nice. Look at that software instability. I'm loving it. Robo family. Robo family. If you don't let them go, Ro Luther kills them. Interessante. This is with a shotgun. Oh, don't tell me. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? No, I would not. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. <laughs> I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Wow. Straight up. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seems yeah, to is totally creepy with to RA9. To me. You came very close to capturing that deviant. Like who is she? Like in my head, I just like my head cannon and I don't um, How is your relationship with Lieutenant Development? Don't know exactly. You know. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. How true this he is. Because it's head he cannon, expressed but. it in his own way. Um, 
I imagine her being controlled by like this weird shadowy board of cyber cyber life. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation. There's like several old dudes in a dark boardroom. Taking turns a speaking. Case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. I feel like uh, she's in my head. I feel like she's a program that is like being controlled by a bunch of like a like a board of users. I will say you are close. Got it. So there is like some canon to that. That's kind of interesting. Is that like in special features or like the devs cover that in an interview? Lieutenant Anderson. Nice sharp knock. Anybody home? <laughs> Gosh, did I just not like Did I miss that? Did I did I screw my like my playthrough that bad that I didn't learn about Amanda's origins? Oh, I can't see I remember why. I probably didn't <clears throat> uh wasn't paying attention because I was like worried about like making that decision. That makes sense. Oh shit. Lieutenant Anderson. Easy. Slick. Oh, sumo. Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. Oh. I'm here to save your owner. No. <laughs> Big doggo. God, I want pizza. I feel like I say that once a day. God, I want pizza. I like I like dogs. Scotch. Three fifty seven. didn't find it on your first playthrough either. Oh, really? Traces of alcohol. Light arrhythmia, no signs of trauma. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. Oh, man. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you now. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sulu! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. This scene is totally priceless. What the hell are I you love doing? the, uh, the touch of the, uh, then <laughs> posted notes on his mirror. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Appreciate the hint. Look for it in my next playthrough. Yeah, definitely. Same. On this playthrough. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. 
can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. <laughs> a man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. Apparently David I'll Cage has a habit of putting shower scenes in his games. Oh, really? What other games has uh, he written? Did he write Heavy Rain? Because if so, there's definitely a shower scene in that. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hmm, I picked stripey last time. Let's do streaky. Oh, so he's written all the um uh the the Quantic Dream games. That makes sense. So many details hidden in this game, it's literally impossible to find them all in one playthrough. I can imagine that. I definitely missed a few. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> Oh, look, it was brown. Yikes. <laughs> President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in his speech to Congress today, where he demanded that all Russian troops withdraw. Ooh, listen. I like listening. The Kremlin has yet to respond. Are you okay, Lieutenant? Many experts are suggesting Table. Nice. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. You, I know. I last before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. That's Sriracha. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, son. <laughs> Look at that shirt. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. You might want to replace that window. It's raining. Or not. Whatever. Even the photo is electronic. Oh, was it? Cyberlife Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts in the blue blood. Follow me. If you play through it on your own time or in general, you're fast enough you can get you. You can you can pet sumo too. I think I remember seeing that. Um. Last playthrough, but uh.
<laughs> the heist. Rick Sanchez, you son of a bitch. I'm in. I haven't watched um, Rick and Morty in a while. <laughs> Watch out. In game raid approaching. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Do this. Last episode you watched was Pickle Rick. Uh, I finished actually first two seasons and then I stopped. Um, I didn't watch season three for reasons. <laughs> There's an episode of on heist movies, of course there is. Actually, I did watch watch one of the I guess season three um, episodes because um, it was the uh, the the Szechuan sauce episode. It's funny the um, that year I actually cosplayed uh, Rick Sanchez at WonderCon, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> everybody kept on yelling Szechuan sauce at me. Szechuan sauce! You know, uh, <clears throat> if I hadn't seen that episode, I, I would have thought it was, like, racist. Like, is this because I'm Asian? Like, what's going on? I never, I didn't get a, uh, any of that Szechuan sauce though, so I, I, I don't even know how it tastes. <laughs> I know when uh, McDonald's did that re-release of the sauce, like people like went nuts over it. Let's see, if this looks plausible. I'm actually going to probably stop pretty soon. So, I mean, after this scenario, I think I'll, I'll uh, call it a night. Because I'm getting kind of hungry. And I should check on my on my WoW raid team, see what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. But I do have my... Um, Quick, open the other crates and fill your bag. Take as much as you my can. uh schedule my stream schedule in uh, the discord so i think i have this slated for tuesday again oh damn oh this is when we find out he has mave powers You're trespassing on private property Presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still Sorry, don't have 3 a.m. Time flies by when you're having fun. Ah, oh, thanks, Yuki. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Yeah, for sure. For sure it does. I know, I can't believe I'm, I've 
gosh, how long has it been already? Cool. <laughs> I usually don't stream this long. <laughs> I'm telling you, these uh, um, these Quantic Dream games, they have me sitting for a long time. I've, you know, I said earlier I finished Heavy Rain in one sitting, like 12 hours, something like that. But yeah. AP 700, made in Detroit. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. Oh, damn. Starting that army. A remaster of Heavy Rain would be dope. I would totally replay that. I've actually only replayed it. I mean, I only played it that one time. I played like a little bit. That's all we can carry. Let's go. When I played it, I replayed it a little bit. Take me with you. Yeah, bro. He's on their side. We can't trust him. No, he's good. We can't just leave him here. I turned him already. It's too dangerous. They come with us. Sean! I know. I know where Sean! Their parts. And the freaking balloon. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They're it's the Grey's Anatomy guy. Hey, what's up, James? How you doing? Where is this key? Jesse Williams, same dude. Jace, Jason, Jason. Suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. Johnson games look so fucking good. How you guys doing today? Doing all right, man. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. This game does look pretty great. He was also in Kevin Woods. Oh, was he? Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Gosh, I don't remember him I'm in Kevin in Woods. I no, guess. going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing Gosh, our lives. I don't remember. I've never seen that one. Kevin Woods is a lot of fun. I can imagine, like, a lot of... It's not a lot of people's, like, cup of tea, but... I dug it. The, um... Yeah. But I would definitely love a Heavy Rain remake. Don't try anything at least once. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in Zone 4? Dude, yeah, I totally forgot like Hemsworth was in that. It looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Found the key. No, let's not do that. Joss Whedon, yep. Cause a blackout. Yeah, Kevin Woods was a horror comedy. It was more like a, um... It was like a deconstruction of the horror genre. And it wasn't necessarily like, ha 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 funny, so... Yeah, dark comedy is a good way to put it. With horror elements, it's uh, yeah. Fuses are over there. I don't know shit about electricity. I don't 
That's GTFO. Did you get What's it? up, North? Let's do this. Nice. Noise. Hurry, get in. But yeah, it totally had some Buffy vibes. It was, um, I don't know. I I need to rewatch it. Like I saw it in the theaters, and I was a little unsure like whether I liked it or not. I enjoyed it enough, but, uh, yeah, should give that a rewatch. Sent by Cyberlife. Oh yeah, look at everybody all load. triumphant. We stole a whole truck. We load. got bio components for everybody. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without Marcus. Yo, Jeremy, Jeremy, what's up, brother? How you doing? I came to Jericho because here androids are free. We were talking about the computer again today. <laughs> so everybody, this is uh, Jeremy Jerm. He's the builder of this uh, system here. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows. The knows. I am more than what they say. More. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. You tell them, Marcus. We are free. Damn, bro. That adult life. Home Depot with the wife. Oh man. Oh, that's right. Y'all got that, uh. Got that big old project. Oh man. So, I think. Let's see here. What are we going? What are we doing? What are we going? What are we. <laughs> I'm just saying words now. Um. Let's see here. So I think that's going to be it for um, Marvel. I mean, uh, Detroit become human today. But I do have that for y'all. Let's get a game of marbles. And monologues are fun. I love me a good monologue. So, as we do here, we're going to decide on who to raid. And, yeah, for sure, dude. Always the shout-out, bro. It's been lots of fun. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, let's figure out where we're going. Whoever wins this round of marbles gets to choose where we're going for today. So, let's see. Alright. Y'all know how to do this. 
when we get to the race. The only command you need to know is... Whoa. What happened there? <laughs> Let's go back. That's not right. Standard Royal Grand Prix. Standard. Random. Viewer. Race. There we are. So our choices today are... Oh, hell yeah. Cutie Cupcake. Actually, nobody's streaming right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. So, uh, we're probably going to either um, go to a jackbox, play some jackbox, either or watch Teamfight Tactics, or just uh, watch, uh, uh, watch homie um, Goochman Twitch uh, spin some records. Let's get that join in. And Marbles has crashed. <laughs> what is going on? Alright, let me try to run that again. That was uh, awesome. If it happens again, we might just have to scrap it, because like it did just do an, an update. Oh, come on. There we go. Update, you broke my game. My Wi-Fi is acting up too. Oh no. Oh, here it goes. Alright, for reals this time. Let's jump into it. The official. Marble song. <laughs> we'll start in a couple minutes. But yeah, uh, thank you everybody for joining today. It's it's been a lot of fun, and um, again, we're going to get another session of uh, Detroit Become Human in like um, on Tuesday. So that's going to be. Super cool. Can't wait to see where we go in terms of like trying to get that good ending, you know what I'm saying? You never zoomed in on my Marble Earl, I think you like the theme of you'd like the theme of it. I'll I'll oh I'll, let, me, let me check it out. Alright. Is everybody who's who wants in in? Let's go in about 30 seconds. Sephiroth! Bye! Thanks for stopping by, Yuki Gaming. I appreciate it. Jeremy Germ, thank you for cheering the 100 bits. You are amazing, man. Again, if anybody's in LA looking for a computer, hit up Germ and uh, he'll take care of you. I actually have somebody, uh, I was talking to somebody yesterday, so uh, I'm, I might hit you up later, Germ. All right, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Mercedes, bye. Oh yeah, bye, you can give me. 2, 1. Here we go. I'm going to find your marble first, Opera. It looks super cool, I just can't tell what it is. <laughs> oh. I need to... Alright, Angfernal is in the lead. Mercedes. Oh, everybody's fighting for the lead at this point. We're gonna find out who's actually in the lead once we get to the uh, the end of the funnel. Once we exit the funnel, we'll find out who's, uh, who's for real winning right here. Looks like everybody's taking their sweet time in this funnel, though. Wow, that is the longest amount of time I've ever 
It's a pizza. Oh, I want pizza. Jeez. Are y'all having a party in this funnel? What's going on? Oh, it is a pizza. I see it. Look how long that's taking. Early be good in first place. Wow. Early good far ahead with, with Ang Infernal bringing up second. Uh, Mercedes uh, in third. With Twitchy Little Ferret in fourth. Earl. I know this seems rigged. Early be good. <laughs> Still coming out in the lead. Is he catchable at this point? Who knows? We're going through this interesting looking. Um, these bumpers will early be good make it out of this uh, obstacle. Ah, uh, and he look. It looks like he's stuck there and not moving at all. Which leaves the early be good is just standing there. Angfernal in the lead. Looks like he. <laughs> everybody's getting caught up in these blocks. Angfernal and Early Be Good take two different paths down to the bottom. Who's going to make it down there first? We don't know. Opera LC in third. Uh, battling out uh, for third and fourth place with Mercedes. Twitchy Little Ferret still in fifth place. A little hard to decide what's going to happen here, folks, to see what's going to happen. Early Be Good and Angfernal are neck and neck. <laughs> Kuya Paul Games, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Three players. I was gonna about to possibly raid you. I'm sorry. We are at the end of the stream, but thank you, folks, for being here. Um, Angfernal and Early Be Good stuck, stuck in these uh, crumbling blocks. Will this leave an opening for Upper LC, Twitchy Little Ferret, and Mercedes? We're gonna find out right now. What just happened? I think you stepped into like some kind of teleporter. <laughs> Unfortunately. What happened there? <laughs> it looks like Twitchy Little Ferret and Angfernal, you got sucked up into a teleporter. You got teleported all the way back here to the end. What is going on here? And uh, <laughs> let's see what happens when, <laughs> when we get to the finish line. Raid! Scripted death, I know, right? Twitchy Little Ferret in 4th place, Angfernal bringing up the rear in 5th place. Those teleporters are lethal. Or, uh, those are, those are killer, man. At least this, uh, field here is, uh... is clear for you. Twitchy Little Ferret coming in 4th place, and Ang... No, what the hell? You got teleported back there again. Did you get teleported back? Got teleport oh, you got teleported off! Sorry, Twitchy Little Ferret falls off of the map. Angfernal comes in fourth place. Sorry, hit the portal, scripted death. I know, right? Well, folks, thank you for joining today. I'm sorry for uh, the... Uh, the meta one change your Twitch name, FYI. Uh, this is just um, what I do at the end of uh, the stream, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, uh, Kui Paul, for uh, looking out, man. Sisyphean, I know, totally Sisyphean. Um, so I guess I'm gonna choose where we're gonna go raid right now. I know, weird, them's the rules, right? Uh, but thank you everybody for joining tonight. Let's uh, take a look at Twitch, if I can find my Twitch window. Uh, we are gonna go, um, gosh, everybody, you just signed off people. <laughs> but we're gonna go uh, say what's up to Ohalia. She's playing some uh, Jackbox Party Packs, which is what I do on Friday nights. So, um, I know, always, bruh, raid after raid. Thanks, man. We'll say what's up to Ohalia. And, uh, everybody have a good night. I'll see you on, um, well, tomorrow for Pangeekery. But, um, I'll see you again with, uh, Detroit Become Human on Tuesday, so this is where I'm going to be tomorrow, but I'll be back here on Tuesday for more, some more uh, Detroit. Alright, y'all take care. Love y'all. Y'all are the best. Peace out.
fucking teamwork. Early be good. Thank you so much for the raid. It's going to be a double raid because we are just finishing as well. <laughs> and, and Fernal. Thank you so much. It is going to be a double raid. Early be good. Thank you so much for the raid. You just got raided too. Okay, so then it's going to be a triple raid all the way across the sky. Can we get a shout out to Early Be Good before we um before we move on? Oh, okay, cool. What were you doing? What were you doing? Let me see. Let me see. I just followed Early Be Good and you all should too. You all should too. Oh, and uh Kai's Paul Games, you raided him. It's going to be a triple raid all yeah, the way across Paul. the sky. Amazing. <laughs> I just followed Kai. Is that how you say it? I just followed both of you. Just followed both of you. Detroit Become Human, awesome. Fun. Well, I I just started playing, um... Am I playing any games later? Yeah, maybe. I haven't decided yet. I just started playing The Last of Us Part 2. I just did it until dawn. Um, but we also, we mainly do Jackbox, but I also do story games. So please come back anytime. I'm so sorry that you're coming in right at the end of our stream. Please come back anytime anytime thank you for the yes i just followed you kaya is it kaya kuye kuye okay kuye i just followed kuye guys if you can go follow kuye please go do so um twitchy little ferret thank you for the follow kuye thank you for the follow kind of jojo th oh that was a while ago thank you all for the follow we are going to be raiding right now as well we had a, a long night of dead by daylight and um Fall guys, and oh, you're shouting me out? Okay, Jake. <laughs> and then we played Jackbox. So I'll be back. My schedule's updated on my Twitch page. So we will be playing The Last of Us Part 2 on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we'll be doing The Last of Us and Jackbox. And it's going to be great. So thank you guys all for coming in. We're about to go bring a huge raid over to a new friend that has been recommended by um, a... Maddox, I like all those emotes. I like those Pepe emotes. A uh, new friend who's recommended by um, our old friend, Pasta Acosta. So here's our raid message. Hillian Raid, Pasta sent us with a shh. Okay, so here we go. That is our raid message. Hillian Raid, Pasta sent us. Thank you all for coming in. I'm so sorry that we're just missing you. I'm getting a little bit tipsy, so we need to end. We need to end the stream, otherwise I'll keep playing and leave. Don't want that. Early be good, I just followed you. Um, Kuye, I just followed you as well. Hillian Raid, Pasta sent us, yes. Tipsy Whipsy, exactly. Copy and paste that, that is what our raid message will be. Um, here we go. Pasta, are you even here for the raid of the person that you recommended us to raid? I hope so. I hope so. Hailing raid, Pasta sent us. Yes, if you don't have the emotes, um, you just do that. That works too. He is here. Okay, cool. Oh, and how many viewers are we going to bring him? Hopefully, hopefully a ton. I really genuinely appreciate each and every one of you and love a lot of you. Sorry I don't know all of you enough to say that I love you, but I really appreciate all of you. I love a majority of you. I hope you have the best night ever. <laughs> hope you have the best night ever, and I will see you soon. I will be around Discord for a little while tonight, you guys, so if anyone wants to play games, just let me know. Otherwise, oh my god, Sheik! <laughs> Sheik, thank you for the raid! <laughs> we <laughs> it's a quadruple raid all the way across the sky. Word up, everyone follows Sheik. Uh, we are about to raid. It is a humongous raid for whiskey. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Sheik, I hope you have a great night. We literally are about to raid. It is a raidception. Here we fucking go. Have the best night, everybody. Sheik, you rule. Everyone go follow Sheik. Um, okay, bye. Bye. I love you all. Bye. I love most of you, I mean, but I appreciate you all. Okay, bye. Had some mac and cheese. Oh, sounds really good, Laura. Sounds excellent, dude. I, I fuck with mac. I fuck with mac. <laughs>
Ohalia? How do I pronounce that? Oh hell! <laughs> oh hell yeah! What's up? There we go. I nailed it. I nailed it. Halion. Oh, I fucking love that. What's up, friends? How y'all doing? Can I expect to be kissed again? Welcome, Pasta. Good to see you, Rian. Kill Ace. Welcome, Fox. Welcome. Awesome. Welcome. His Spaniards in the house. Big Daddy's in the house. D.